Ever wonder why you're always the last to know when someone's interested in you? We've all been there, feeling like the last one to catch on, but don't fret, because you're not alone in this. It's a common predicament, especially in the complex world of dating. The game of love is a delicate dance, full of subtle signals and hidden cues. These signals act as the language of attraction, a silent conversation between two people, but often, these signals are misunderstood or missed entirely. And that, my friends, can lead to a lot of confusion, missed opportunities, and yes, even heartbreak. Imagine this. You're sitting across from someone, a woman perhaps, at a coffee shop. She's laughing at your jokes, playing with her hair, and her eyes are sparkling with interest. Clear signals, right? Well, not always. These could be signs of mere friendliness or nervousness. So, how do you decipher this intricate code? This brings us to our topic of discussion today, the different signals women use to show interest. It's not as straightforward as you might think. Women like men are complex creatures, and the signals they send can be subtle, nuanced, and sometimes downright puzzling. These signals can range from a lingering glance, a soft touch on the arm, a playful nudge, to a warm smile. Each one carries its weight and meaning. Understanding these signals is more than just about knowing when to ask someone out, it's about navigating the delicate landscape of human interaction. It's about respecting boundaries, understanding emotions, and fostering genuine connections. Do remember though, that not every signal necessarily means romantic interest. It could be a sign of comfort, friendship, or even just politeness. But that's the beauty of this silent language. It's layered and nuanced, just like us humans. So keep your eyes and ears open, and your heart receptive. Pay attention to the little things, because even the most seemingly insignificant behaviors can be a signal of interest. Let's delve deeper into this fascinating world of silent conversations, shall we? A smile can mean a thousand things, but when does it mean she's interested? Let's delve into the tale of Sam, he was a charming chap who found himself in a pickle when he misinterpreted a friendly smile from Lisa, a co-worker, as a romantic signal. Lisa, always cheerful, smiled at everyone. Sam, however, saw her smile as a personal invitation. He failed to understand that smiles come in different flavors. There's the polite smile, the friendly smile, the nervous smile, and yes, the interested smile. The secret lies in the nuances. An interested smile lingers, it's accompanied by a certain gaze, a deeper connection. A friendly smile, in contrast, is brief, casual, and often shared with many. Misinterpreting these signals can lead to awkward situations, but with a keen eye, one can learn to discern between them. Remember, not every smile is an invitation, but understanding the nuances can save you a lot of confusion. Ever noticed how some women touch your arm during a conversation? Let's delve into the power of touch, and what it means. Picture this. There's a man named Tom who was quite the social butterfly. He was charming, funny, and could hold a conversation with just about anyone. However, he was oblivious to one crucial detail, the power of touch. One day, Tom was at a social gathering, engaged in a lively conversation with a woman named Lisa. Lisa, being interested in Tom, subtly touched his arm during the conversation. Despite her clear interest, Tom missed this signal completely. You see, touch, especially in a casual social setting, can often serve as a strong indicator of interest. When a woman touches your arm during a conversation, it's not just a random action, it's a deliberate move. She's trying to establish a connection, to bridge the gap between mere conversation and something more. But it's not just about recognizing the signal, it's also about how you respond. If a woman touches your arm, the appropriate response is to acknowledge it subtly. You can do this by reciprocating the touch shortly after, perhaps by lightly touching her arm back. This shows that you're comfortable with the contact and are open to establishing a deeper connection. However, remember, touch should always be respectful and considerate. It's essential to gauge the other person's comfort level and respect their boundaries. If you notice any sign of discomfort, it's best to refrain from reciprocating the touch. Tom, unfortunately, missed Lisa's signal and failed to respond appropriately. But you don't have to be like Tom. The power of touch is a potent tool in social interactions. When used correctly, 
it can help you build deeper connections and better relationships. So next time you're in a conversation, pay close attention to these subtle touches. They could be signals of interest, invitations to take the conversation a step further. Touch is a powerful communicator, pay attention to it. What does it mean when she keeps the conversation going? Picture this, a man, let's call him Jack, finds himself in a conversation with a woman at a local coffee shop. They've been chatting about their shared love for indie music for the past 10 minutes. As Jack prepares to wrap up the conversation, the woman throws in another question. Have you been to any good concerts lately? Jack, oblivious to the signal, simply answers the question and ends the conversation. What Jack didn't realize was that the woman was attempting to extend their conversation. Sustained conversation is often a clear indicator of interest. It's an invitation to delve deeper, to share more, to connect on a level beyond the surface. It's not merely about the words spoken, it's about the shared experience of communication, the dance of dialogue that draws two people closer together. So how does one respond to this signal? It's simple. Keep the conversation going. Engage with her questions, answer them with enthusiasm, and ask your own in return. Show genuine interest in her thoughts and experiences. Don't rush to end the conversation. Instead, let it flow naturally. Remember, it's not a monologue, it's a dialogue. It's about listening as much as it's about talking. And it's not just about what you say, but how you say it. Your tone, your body language, your facial expressions, all contribute to the art of conversation. Use these tools to convey your interest and attentiveness. Show her that you're not just hearing her words, but truly understanding them. But remember, every conversation has a rhythm, a natural ebb and flow. Don't force it. If the conversation starts to dwindle, it's okay to let it end. Just make sure you part on good terms, leaving the door open for future interactions. So next time you find yourself in a conversation that seems to be stretching beyond the expected, consider it a signal. It could be an invitation to dive deeper, to explore a connection that might be more than just friendly chatter. A conversation that lingers might be more than just a pleasant chat. Have you ever caught her looking at you from across the room? Let's paint a picture. Picture this. There's a man named John. He's at a social gathering, enjoying the music and the company. Suddenly, he notices a woman named Sarah. She's standing across the room, her gaze fixed on him. Her eyes meet his, and she quickly looks away. But then, she looks back at him, holding his gaze a little longer this time. John is intrigued by this. He wonders, is Sarah interested in me? However, he's not sure. He doesn't want to misinterpret the situation and make a fool of himself. He's been in situations before where he thought a woman was interested, only to discover he was completely off the mark. So, he decides to play it safe and dismisses her subtle eye contact as mere coincidence. But was it really just a coincidence? Could John have missed a signal from Sarah? Eye contact, folks, can indeed be a powerful signal of interest. When a woman maintains eye contact with you, especially in a social setting, it could very well mean she's interested. However, it's essential to read the situation correctly. First, consider the context. Are you in a place where it's normal to make eye contact with strangers, or is it more intimate? Second, consider her behavior. Is she just glancing at you, or is she maintaining a steady gaze? Third, consider her body language. Is she open and relaxed, or does she seem nervous and uncomfortable? If the context is right, her gaze is steady and her body language is open, then it's likely she's interested. In such a case, it's up to you to respond appropriately. Maybe return her gaze, give her a warm smile, or approach her for a casual chat. Remember, eye contact is more than just two pairs of eyes meeting. It's a form of non-verbal communication that can convey interest, attraction, and connection. So the next time you catch her looking at you from across the room, don't just dismiss it. It could be a subtle sign that she's interested. Eye contact can be subtle, yet powerful. Don't underestimate it. So, how can you tell if she's interested? Well, let's take a walk down memory lane and revisit what we've learned so far. Remember the misunderstood smile? It's not just a courteous gesture, but often a signal of interest. 
When a woman smiles at you, it's her way of inviting you into her world. She's opening up, showing warmth and receptivity. So next time you see that smile, don't just brush it off as politeness. Then, we delved into the power of touch. A light touch on your arm, a fleeting brush against your shoulder. These aren't accidents. They are subtle yet powerful signals of attraction. She's breaking the touch barrier, signaling comfort and closeness. Don't underestimate these moments. They're her way of saying, I'm comfortable with you. Next was the art of conversation. If she's actively engaging with you, asking questions, and showing genuine interest in what you have to say, she's signaling attraction. She's not just being polite or making small talk, she's investing in getting to know you. That's a clear sign of interest, so make sure you're reciprocating and showing the same level of engagement. And let's not forget the subtle eye contact, the lingering looks, the quick glances. These are all part of the language of attraction. When she holds your gaze, she's trying to establish a connection. It's her way of saying, I see you, and I want you to see me. But remember, understanding these signals is just half the game. Knowing how to respond appropriately is equally important. Show interest, engage in the conversation, reciprocate the touch, and hold that gaze. Let her know that her signals are being received and appreciated. In the end, it all boils down to this. Dating is a game of signals, learn to read them, and you'll never be the last to know again.